Uh, Friday, there was a um, an actual boxing exhibition at my gym as well. So I got to go watch Miata some live. Li- yeah, I got exactly. So you know the early Ippo episodes yes, where know, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. The early episodes where it's like it's a little crowded. It's not completely empty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the but right it's, amount yeah, of but people. it's the right amount of people going like, hmm, who's who's got what yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah. You know, and you get to see some some dudes coming out and a lot of amateurs with the basics, some wild players coming out with their crazy. Crazy styles, mm-hmm. you know, and one dude who just thought he was like um, Prince Nassim was just basically boxing with his hands down and like just doing the, you know, the just Dudley, Dudley's the Dudley like, counter thing. Yeah. He's doing lots of that and just like bold being, yeah, being ridiculous with it. But There's it was a reason people keep their hands up. Man. Yes. Yes. It's, it's the one on one. It's the straight up like hit. Don't get hit. Keep your hands up. Like it's so basic. But but anyway, um, so I got to watch some of that and see some of the like, uh, the I guess techniques in motion and action and Miata style uh, Hajime like like he shouldn't have won but he won nothing like that no upsets uh, I like mean it's an exhibition I know yeah no it. well that's exactly so there were, most of the matches were demos which means they're three rounds and then that's th- it. You, there's no winner you yeah. just kind of like you're well, showing off what like, was the thing for that match and uh, Ipo was like can, you Ipo just has to survive. Survive like, the, the, the three get rounds down three or whatever. Times. Yeah. He got knocked down twice. Okay. And then he wasn't, like, he refused to get knocked down the third time. And Miata's like, what the fuck? What's with this I guy? Just, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Th- those are little anime tropes I wish would crop up in life more often. Like, I want you to say to me during one of the three round exhibition matches, a rival that left the gym years ago is now back. And right. And, right. And, and, and yeah, he has horseshoes in his gloves. I mean, but you I don't got anything like I that. I will say, I will say that like two things that are rad to watch, especially because again, it's amateur, so it's like you're seeing some, you're seeing like some people kind of try shit out, <laughs> you know. Mm. And if it works, it works, and if and if it doesn't, it doesn't. But uh, there was one dude that was like going really Steve Fox in on the situation okay, where I'm sure he th- you love that, which is a which is pretty much like a like after after you throw out anything, just really big. Dodges and weaves out of the way, you're you know. A lot of energy over dodging, but you're, but you're supposed to like really not get hit, you yeah. know. So like when it works, it looks so good. Okay, okay. But you get gassed fucking it's quick if me, you fucking like, burn through all of you. Everything it's like you little got. Mac, he yeah. starts glowing red and he's low. Exactly right, and then and then the night and then the last round becomes a bunch of clinches because you can't breathe, yeah. you know. So it's like you're trading off hype for shame later. Let you us know? clinch together. Um, uh, same thing for like dude that comes in and just starts go, like going like wild on the combos just hey, like I have one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, no idea, break. Wolves. Then you're tired. As you're going to a boxing place and know more about boxing than anybody at this table, I need to run an idea past you and you can tell me if it's bad or not. Let's go. Clinches suck, yes. Clinch. They're they're bad for viewers basically. Like they're boring. They're like uh, especially really clinch heavy matches. Okay. Like ref runs in and goes, "Come on." So, like, so okay. Clinch, right? What if you equipped the boxers with little shock pads like that cattle prod? And if you clinch for more than one second, you get a fucking jolt. See, the problem is that clinch is an actual useful technique that when yeah, applied I properly. Yeah, I, know. I know. Like, so is kicking. But man. also, like, and, but, and like people have worked entire sh- crazy strategies around proper clinch work and, and actually. Proper clinch work. And, and, and like getting in some shots. Like, I've seen a couple of dudes where like they're. Well, okay, the in-fighter thing, yeah. right, you know, where you're up close and then, like, you get a little clinch and then you don't clinch so long that the ref breaks it up. But, like, after getting that close, you can – that you're in prime position for an uppercut so, and a hook. I only I only, I only, apply this mentality of, like, to boxing because boxing already has, like, incredibly stringent rules about what you can and cannot do. Yeah. Right? Like, if it was MMA or or or, 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 yeah. or K1 or some shit, yeah. like, fine, right? So that's the one thing. That's the one thing where you do, where, I, 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 like, I think everyone can that watches can, can feel it. If you watch, like, uh, uh, MMA fights, right, and, like, stuff like UFC, every time, like, you see a clinch happen in boxing, it's like, oh, basically, that's the ref stepping in to, like, save somebody from, from what, what would have been a takedown. Yeah. You know? Because in UFC, they don't break up the clinch. It's a part of it. Yeah, and then no. You, then you follow it through to its logical clinch conclusion. Clinch to the floor, and then I'll punch you in and the And then asshole. you see what happens. Yeah. Right. And then you Craig Marduk the situation. We'll yeah. get there. Um, but, but yeah, it, it, is, it is something where, like, it does get lame, but also lame has worked, and, all, and Floyd fucking Mayweather 
is the shittiest fight in the universe to watch. But he's still there's undefeated for a reason. I don't who right? cares. Who the cares? biggest like May, the okay, I'm not, perfect record for a reason. I'm not a boxing fan. So, Total money. So right? my opinion is default moot. But if you win and the crowd that it is an enter people will pay money to be entertained. Right? Yeah. Nobody cares to go watch a fucking boring fight because oh, the guy won, unless they're gambling. But like, if it's the strategy and it works, then there's no incentive to not do it. No, that, okay, listen. Like, like, like no, as the, a boxer, the rules. I'd rather win the match. Yes, as the boxer, of right? Course. Yeah. So, so it, the, the other thing, the other thing is that, like, without even his, his style, there's other things where, like, if you just have really good footwork and only a jab, you have nothing but a jab, mm -hmm. you can still win fights. So here's, it's the most boring thing in the world. Here's, here's my view it's on plain that. Lame. Right? It's plain so, lame. Yep. Um, over at Core A Gaming, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jared? Gerard? I'm sorry, buddy. But Corey Gaming brought up an interesting point about basketball in a similar context. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, and I forget all these players' names, apologies. Uh, this is fucking the first 6'5 plus guy who was like almost seven feet tall shows up in basketball, and there's no goaltending rule in basketball at the time. Mm -hmm. So what does he fucking do? He just goaltends. He just goaltends all day. He just goaltends all day, yeah. and it's fucking impossible yeah. to get in, which. Leads his team to many, many victories, yeah. being the lamest fucking way to play the game possible. Yeah. They lose to a team that discovers, well, what if we score real early, like real early, like first 30 seconds, and just play fucking keep away with the ball yep. for 55 minutes, So, which leads to an 18-19 score because there's no shot clock. Shot clock, yeah. Because why would it? Yeah. So the rules change according to because it's fucking boring to watch. So they add goaltending, then they add a shot clock, and then they add a three point line so that players who aren't big and tall mm -hmm. can actually do it because it makes the game more entertaining to watch. Pe By that logic, we should be attaching all sorts of dangerous implements to boxes. <laughs> okay. So so Pat, you are correct in one thing, in the idea that Sports in general have become too rigid in their framework because they're more so tradition mm -hmm. now than ever. So we don't want to change things about them. We don't want to update rules. We're very, very, very hesitant to ever but then morph the things XFL around. Fail? See, it yeah, was, it was yeah. Well, exactly. Changed all types of you know they, they, like, 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 like the introduction of uh, instant replays that you use a timeout with the camera system or whatever mm -hmm. was like. One of the Whoa. biggest things ever, and it's not an actual rule change. It's just a thing that gets added so that the refs can make more accurate calls yes. at your cost. Yeah, the, the right? difference with boxing, unless it's like one of those rare ones that goes to like more than like three or four rounds, it's like it's a fast sport. Now, I remember hockey so, about a decade ago or a little more. They changed something to do with the fucking blue line. I forget what the fuck it was, but it was a significant rule change. And they also changed the size of the fucking rinks. Do you remember that? There's also the glowing puck. Right? Well, no. That's, that's just for fucking dumb <laughs> Americans. Sorry, guys. We're all fucking blind. Um, I love that shit. That's just the best. Because it made it look like a video game. Yeah. yeah. Hit the ice. Cool. But, like, it, it reminds me of... Do you remember when people were talking about fighting games and, like... Uh, Talking about Heroes of the Storm, specifically, with MOBAs, right? Okay. Because League of Legends and Dota map, the map is the map, right? The map is the map. You don't change the fucking soccer pitch every couple seasons. You should. Well, maybe but, you mm -hmm. fucking should, because indoor soccer is more fun to watch, because the pitch is smaller. So, clearly... Uh, I like you are the type of person that would go on to found Megalobox. Yeah, <laughs> with enough with enough money, I can see that happening. Um, and I and there is I want to put a tiger on the field. And and so that's that. There's a difference between we need to update the rules or at least have a, a have a, a a discussion about whether or not things should be tweaked. Like does every they, every couple of is, whatever is the way that these every, things work currently actually good for once a sport. decade right sure, as opposed to never um there, that that definitely should occur in this way but also put a tiger on the field yes but also the I Romans did I it. know you and yeah. I know you can appreciate laming it out to win in I, in, in I, FGC situations in in like so boxing so I will say one thing camping uh, about that you will camp to win no I don't <laughs> I hate that but um but the the thing with boxing and it's tough right because boxing has 
and MMA and any fight sport, any fight sport has you might as be well rolling a d20 to see if you get your mm-hmm. money's worth because you have two outcomes that no one's happy with. You have the sub 20 second knockout, which is rare but can occur. I wasted money on this pay per view. I, I, I wait. I came to Vegas. Yes. To watch the fight. Yes. And the fight lasted one round. Time to riot. Or burn that cop car. Oh wow! They went twelve. They went fifteen. Whatever rounds and tied. And, and no one. No one. Yeah, a clean yeah, yeah. Blow. That's pretty. Not apt. one clean shot. So and we and the match we, ended in a tie. So then we come to the natural conclusion of all things. Sudden wrestling death. Wrestling is the greatest sport in the world. Yeah, okay. He's gotta, he's, all it does is cater to the audience <laughs> and entertain you. Well. If it's it good, can entertain if it, if it, you. Uh, it can. I mean, let's not pretend that boxing doesn't have kayfabe. Let's not pretend that Don King and 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 yeah, and fucking okay. Daredevil's That's... dad weren't a part of, <laughs> you know, this the this, this but, corrupt but, ass but fucking fight fix game. It's, it's not part of the story of the fight. It's it's an actual thing, like that's an undercurrent, but. Rusty Apparently there was some forward. some decision recently b- for a big fight that was just like the most outrageous like robbery ever involving a guy named Fury. Tyson Fury. That? Yeah. Yeah, that, like, that like, fight happened this weekend. Yeah. Apparently, like, because I watched clips of the fight, and, like, I don't know anything about boxing, sure. but that guy seemed to hit that other guy a bunch, mm-hmm. and that guy lost. <laughs> yeah, ju- well, judge, you never know what you're going to get with judges, and, and, and <laughs> that's why they, they have different people scoring it. However, what if they you see just it. pay them all. What if you just pay them all? <laughs> <laughs> what, if like, what if you just do that? Yeah, you know what yeah, I never understood? Yeah. Why t- why pay the fighter to take a dive? Why not just rig the judges? Who's going to stop you? Because I think it's much easier to talk into a fighter's ear rather than and, three judges. And exactly, and it's like it's like it's in the same way that it's like a, a a panel of judges in court or whatever. There's a whole board, and then there's refs, and yeah. then there's just, there's multiple people you have to corrupt. Why you, not just bribe everyone? Who, you, who doesn't love you? A bribe? Only have so much honey. Why don't mm-hmm. drip it all in one person's ear rather than spread it out? Uh, and and it only takes one snitch yeah. Yeah. to like out your shit, mm. blow your situation yeah, up. That's true. So you know, but anyway, uh, that was a fun time. It's a fun time. That was a fun time. time. But yeah, that. sports should get updated. I do. I agree with that. I think we should update I think sports. We, mm-hmm. Every sport should be NFL blitz. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. You I know, think people would not get these concussion diseases if the sports were more lethal. I say that. Oh, you mean to, instead of getting injured, they just straight up get killed? Well, no, but like you know how uh, uh, what's it called? Concussive encephalopathy, something. CTE. Whatever for for wrestlers and for for football players. CTE. Yeah. The problem is the football players are able to play for 10, 15 years. Like if they were getting their if they were getting their legs chewed off by tigers, uh, like, you'd never have the chance to get a concussive brain I damage. I think I heard a stat that's like the average NFL career that's was like long. three and a half, and like. Yeah, okay. Something really. I'll be, like... I'll be real. I played a lot of mutant league football when I was a kid. Uh-huh. I just want mutant league football. I watched a TV show. I well, played we ho- have to hockey wait game. For an apocalypse for that to happen, you would be fucking sh- awesome. You remember in mutant league hockey where you could kill the other team and the all game right. Just end? So what I what I actually think is a pretty good example of yes. things needing to get updated. And I say this with no interest as a spectator whatsoever. Baseball, uh, <laughs> soccer, which we. I couldn't be further away from. Like no. is like when the fact that games regularly end zero zero, you should probably consider updating something like, like, again, in your sport. Again, hey, incoming Simpsons reference. The thing where it shows Ken Brockman <laughs> broadcasting the big soccer yes, thing between yes. who's the greatest yeah. uh, uh, country in the world, Met- Mexico or Portugal, <laughs> and he's like, holds it, holds, holds it. it. Holds it. it. And then cut over to the Mexican. <laughs> holds it, hold Like, yeah. Europe loves that shit so much. And it's they like, do. And any attempt to change will it will never get over here no. in its so, current form. Any, any attempt religion. to change it, any attempt to change it will just be met with, Listen. like, but burning I, cop cars. But you know what? Then you need to gimmick it up. You need to make Sega Soccer Slam real. Guess you what? You have that borderline offensive stereotypes for each of your countries, and you need insane special moves. What if I told you that... Yes. Fun soccer already exists. Oh, it's indoor soccer. Yeah! yeah! yeah. I, I mentioned that earlier. Indoor soccer is, is so much better. All you, have to, cooler, all really. you have to do is make the pitch like a third of the size. And there's no out of bounds. Wow. It's so much and better. And give everyone knives. It's like, it's basically like, like hockey style. Okay. 
You can't give everyone knives, but I think <laughs> oh every my God, player, doing this? every player doing it. Ha- can do one physical action, and they like burn it up if they use it. So it could be a shove, a tackle. But after so you're you've allowed- done one. Then you can't do it. Complimentary rest. yellow card. I'll be, yes. I'll be yes. Real. Everyone gets a free yellow card. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll be real. Every player. I'll be real. Like, for as much as I joke about, like, oh, we should just let soccer people stab each other. Like, soccer, basketball, and hockey, they're almost identical sports. The only real difference is what object you're trying to get into what goal, correct? Sure. The main difference with hockey is... It is already doing the things I'm literally asking for. You gave everyone a stick and a knife on their feet. And then you're allowed to you, you, you nah, roughhouse you, a little you, bit. How about this? You have, how about you this? have to dial it back for if this you, to take oh, it seriously. If you, That's why I meant physical, one physical thing. But you can't bring foreign weapons. If you take a dive on an injury and someone comes over to check, to check it out yeah. and you don't have that, then they break it for real. How about that? Oh, so, yeah, so you, okay. You take a chance on a fake injury, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then they have to really give you that okay, injury. Is it you just, know what? That's a great idea. Is, yeah. it a, is it a ref or is it a trained medical professional? Professional. It's a doctor okay. with a hammer. Okay. They know exactly how to break it in the right way. Yeah. All right. No, yeah. I, th- I oh, think that's an- fair. Your ankle hurts. Seems fine to me. Crack. Now, yep. There you go. All right. But they have to be a medical professional. They have to be like, and if they, what if they go... It could be, it could not. I can't really tell. Then come what? in for X-rays, and then if the X-ray comes back negative, they break two. Yeah, but do they come back to the game after the? No, no, they save it and they do a big event. They do a big event. Oh, you just line it up? Yeah, like, no, like... no. You're like, hey, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the red card show. But <laughs> no, so, just, have... so you tie them to posts? <laughs> yeah, like Christians. Yeah, but you could yeah. have an X-ray machine in the in the uh, locker room. You could get it done real mm. quick. You could rejoin mm. the game depending on what. Okay, what that's is. the end of the game. Then that's the end. Of, you know when they all slap hands? Mm-hmm, They're mm-hmm, like, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, okay, then big burly men come and take the 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 fucking losers yeah. and drag them to the red card pit. Yeah, there you go. And as someone yells, boo, every now, time. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, I imagine that I am just uh, advocating for blood sport. Yeah. It's fucking cool. Um, so this is what happens I, when we don't support megabots. Right. This is what happens when, I, when the mecha fights I don't turn out to be what we wanted them to be. Baseball. I think baseball is the worst So baseball watch. is the worst is so to watch. Boring. I'm sorry. Baseball has one thing going for it that none of the other sports have Hot ever. Hot dogs. No, well, you can get a hot dog somewhere else. Hey. No, uh, you can't. But I want ballpark hot dogs. Giant lazy fat asses can fucking crush it. No, that that MMA has that has had that happen back in the day, way back in the day, back when it was yeah. totally unregulated. No, so uh, baseball. Bob has... Sapp cried <laughs> against a much smaller man. Uh, baseball has one genuine thing that I find personally interesting about it, and it is the only sport uh, that I can think of that's like major league mm-hmm. that doesn't have a time-based limit on the end of the game that it has a score shit. limit which means that the, what was that fucking game the other day that had like eight extra innings people which, were there for like which, fucking four hours it means that no matter how far behind your team is the possibility for a total reversal does exist Th- that you get to points in a soccer hockey golf game even yeah, yeah. where you're like oh they're gonna win yeah, there's an there's 40 minutes left of the game, but yeah, they're, they're, I they're never gonna, yeah. I absolutely think okay. all sports could do with what fighting games have, which is comeback mechanics. You should be mm, able to have one big back. hail mary that can get you back in. <laughs> if you get Dude. the if you get the snitch, no, 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 no the, the snitch the is sco- just an end state. The score equalizer. Because you can get the snitch in like three seconds if you're good enough, but like or whenever it's released. But I mean like like revenge meter. I think if you're doing so bad, uh-huh. you should be able to come back. You know what they should do? Yeah. You know what? You have one shot. Fucking Quidditch is the worst sport ever. It's so bad. It's like if you had a baseball game, but over in the corner you had a boxing match, and the winner of the boxing match would determine the winner of the baseball game if they finished the match before. I don't, it's, it's, it's careful. What the hell is that? Dude, gee, I don't know what that was, but you need to relax. Like a screw went flying. But yes, there are multiple sports happening at the same time. I don't remember every Quidditch game described in the books, but did any of them ever no. 
finish with the Harry snitch. always got the snitch. No, but in other games where he wasn't like involved, they, the, they'd those, be like, oh, those uh, games don't exist because Harry's they so do, important. They do. They do. No, it's a lie. I mean that I'm sure there's some Wikipedia entry that like details every Quidditch game that was described in the books, but it's like, has any of them ever finished in not the snitch being grabbed? I don't know. I don't think so. I think a few have ended with some be, somebody being grievously injured and they just stopped the match yeah. and whoever had the highest score at the point at the when time. When they introduced the, the rules, didn't they? I, I seem to recall, I might be wrong, like uh, them introducing it and going like grabbing the snitch is a rare crazy thing ha- but, but if you can get it that's how you end the game but in every match that is described as in it's going on at the time everyone always grabs it do you remember yeah. a while ago there was some fucking high school team in the fucking states that got in trouble because they fucking ran up the score on some fucking shitty loser high school and blew them out by like 200 fucking points in a basketball game and uh, everybody was mad about what terrible sportsmanship it's like oh, no, no no oh, play to no. win yeah it is the most no. disrespectful shit in the universe to go okay pussies we're yeah. gonna take it easy oh dude no 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 our, our team in Saint Laurent, we we crushed another team 80 to 7 and we got on the local newspaper for it. Yeah. And they fucking do- and the lo- local and- assholes yeah. ruined the game. <laughs> and the front page of the Sailor on newspaper was just eighty seven. You know, like it was just like no, absolutely dominate, noted, destroy. Are you were you on this it. team? Yeah, noted bully Wooly <laughs> Madden destroy small children in game. Listen, sportsmanship just- <laughs> means taking your opponents seriously as well as being a good sport. Taking them seriously means crushing them into dirt. As the great Patrice O'Neill said, man, that's what you get. That's what you get for playing with killers. <laughs> for letting your letting son, your son letting play with killers. Letting your son bad. play with killers. Oh, man. Uh, just, good like, quote. just doing a fucking like, Indian dance in a circle around this body. <laughs> like, fuck. That's, uh, crush him. Absolutely.